portfolio mix from the Micro Four Thirds community. I can't speak for everyone, obviously, so add your comments below. But here are four types of cameras that I think the Micro Four Thirds system needs. What do we want? Fun. I would like a fun, teeny tiny camera, a refreshed GM1 if you will, where we have modern Wi-Fi features and maybe even add real-time LUT to this setup. This is geared towards the everyday carry sort of camera, which as you know, I'm really sort of obsessed with. I love a tiny camera. I think we need to concentrate on the fun element. So fun colors, really stylish. I think the Olympus cameras, like the Pen F, for example, does stylish very, very well. And I see this camera geared towards capturing everyday life in a fun way. Now it doesn't have to cost the earth, this is our budget dream option. I would just love a way for us to be able to add our own presets into the more basic cameras to give the Fujifilm recipes a run for the money. One thing I think Lumix does slightly less well than other brands is considering the style and the iconicness that's the word I'm going for, of certain cameras. Like the GH5, it's iconic for what it does rather than what it looks like. It's very, very serviceable. But there is a reason I forked out a good amount of money for a GM1 in 2023. It's tiny, it's gorgeous in colour, and it has become kind of a collector's item. I think if you can hit that sweet spot between fun and personality in a camera and function, you get something that's very long lived and something that's very memorable in people's minds for years to come. What do we want? Function. My ideal functional Micro Four Thirds camera is a top spec but tiny camera. Kind of like the G100 sized, so we still have uh, an EVF, or maybe the GX8, GX9 line, which is a little bit prettier in my opinion. Something slimline and small, however, it doesn't compromise on spec. This is a high ticket item. I would love to see real time LUT, I would love to see the new phase detect autofocus. I would love to see high res modes, time lapse modes, live composite modes, all of those things in a small camera body. One thing that Lumix seems to not quite hit the mark on is the heart of Micro Four Thirds to me, and maybe to a lot of people, let me know below, is having all the function in a small camera body and small lenses. It always seems to be that the small cameras, you compromise on something. Like the Blumen G100 doesn't have stabilization, but it has a mic input. The GX85 has stabilization, but no mic input. There's always some compromise along the way. And I think there is a market for a high-end small camera with all the bells and whistles of the higher end technology. Because if I could have a camera that's small and cool and I really enjoy using it, but I can also do a little bit of talking head to camera when I'm out and about. It doesn't have to be fancy for video features, but it does have to have stabilization, please. <laughs> Bring all of the magic of all the other cameras into a teeny tiny high end prospect. I think that would do really well. What do you think? What do we want? <laughs> high end photography. Basically, my next dream Lumix camera would be the G9 Mark II. So that is already the photography flagship. It's beautiful. We want weather sealing and a mic input and stabilization, incredible stabilization. I think we could add a PDAF, really good autofocus. And the brand new GH6 processor. So we get all of the best benefits of all this wonderful technology in a photography flagship. I think adding phase detect autofocus into this would be the ultimate wildlife and sports setup. It would give the Olympus OM1 a run for its money. Keep it so that you can use it as an all-in-one solution, but it isn't quite as high-end as the GH6. Please. What do we want? We want the moon on a stick. We want the GH6 Mark II or perhaps a G7 if you want to, you know, change it that drastically. In my dream camera, I think obviously we have phase detect autofocus into the GH6. The autofocus on the GH6 is genuinely really, really impressive and it does hold its own, but the phase detect method is just much more reliable and, and much better in my opinion. So having that within a new GH6 type of model would be great. The other thing that would be great is the S5 Mark II has much more incognito fans compared to this, you know, you've got like 
the world's biggest fans on this and it's actually made the GH6 really quite chunky compared to the GH5. I wish we could have the smaller form factor really. I wish we could go back to something sort of GH5 sized and have the newer fan technology in the GH6 so it doesn't have to be chunky because as I've said in this video I do think the heart of Micro Four Thirds is having a small camera that kicks butt and in no way shape or form is the GH6 small. However it's quite light because it's mostly fan that's caused the, 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 the bloat and the lenses are still small so we do have that going for it and I must say on, on, on the other side of that this is geared towards video professionals and do other video professionals actually give a crap if it's a little bit bigger? Some will some won't but obviously it's not the main focus for some people. I actually think in my dream camera lineup, the ideal camera for me would be the second one, the smaller one that's less high spec than the GH6, but I could still run my YouTube channel around it and still use it for my main photography. But a big question I have on this channel a lot is what is the, the future for the high-end Micro Four Thirds cameras? If we do have the S5 Mark IIs and then presumably the S6 at some point, what is the differential? Because the S5 Mark II is super, super feature-packed and even smaller. I still think there are some things Micro Four Thirds do better. I think the stabilisation is better. I think it has so much more processing power, so the video side of it is above and beyond in terms of your higher frame rates, shooting sort of 120p in 4K with no crop, the open gate features are amazing but I do think for the line to continue to thrive adding in these bits and bobs would really make a difference. Having the, the phase detect autofocus would be essential at this point. If the next Micro Four Thirds camera, the next high-end Micro Four Thirds camera comes out with contrast-based autofocus, there's a lot of people that will jump ship. I won't because clearly I have camera hoarding issues <laughs> but it needs to be like all of this technology needs to come together now and, and really carve a unique niche in the camera market for Micro Four Thirds. I mean, imagine having the, the, the sort of small top-end camera that I'm dreaming, having a little dial on the front like the Pen F used to have where you could custom all of your favourite real-time LUTs and you could go around shooting and just change your custom button on the front and, and have a really intuitive, fun photography experience. List me your dream camera, take a bit from this, a bit from that. What is your dream Micro Four Thirds setup? And definitely make sure to watch this video next where I go through an everyday carry camera setup. It's budget friendly, it's very versatile and I think you'd really enjoy it if, like me, you enjoy the smaller form factor from Micro Four Thirds.